Okay, now we're going to go to recording our own voice. So uh, let's share the screen again and let's have a look at our presentation and make sure that our microphone is plugged in or if you're using the the computer's mic, make sure you have your volume uh, turned up medium to high, not fully up by the way. I usually just go a little bit over halfway with the with the volume because that gives you the opportunity to uh, crank it up a bit if you need to. So all we do in PowerPoint then is we go insert and right over here is the word audio. So insert audio and audio from browser, audio from file or record. So we click on record and you get this little red dot here. And as soon as you press the red dot, it starts recording. And as soon as you press again, it stops recording. It's as simple as that. So let's start. Pecking Order by Frank Fahey. Now we insert that and you'll see there's a little, I'll move it down there where you might see it a bit better or move it, excuse me, onto the neck of the, um, of the uh, peacock. And it's there, we'll check it out later on. So now we go to the second part and the same idea, click on this. In the coronary care recovery unit, there is a pecking order. Two stints are better than one, and the fellow with three beats the bloke who has two in a heartbeat. I was the proud possessor of four. Four stints? Legend. Stunned stint patients fond. Would you like sugar in your tea? Insert. And there again we see the little symbol, okay? Go on to the third slide. Same idea, click this and ready to read. My peacock chest puffed with pompous pride, like the assassin of flies in the ancient fable who fashioned a belt, bragging he was able to dispatch to heaven with one blow seven. I ruled the roost, king of coronary care, until the lady in the corner explained why she was there. Waiting for a heart transplant, my dear. Forgive my giddy demeanour. I'm hoping the bank holiday road statistics will pile up in my favour. In the coronary care recovery unit, there is a pecking order. Okay, so that's the recording done. Now, we're not finished yet. What happens when, uh, sorry, what we need to do now is go back to the start, select our first recording, go up here to playback. Uh, now, here's a few things. Uh, hide this symbol. You don't want that symbol sticking up on your, on your presentation. So we hide it during the show. Start, not in thick sequence, but automatically. And um, if needs be, you can trim the video. There's the video. Let's just play it for a second. Uh, Pecking order. Okay. No, the, okay. Let's just stop that. Yeah, there's a little bit of too long of an intro there. So I move that along and that cuts out that little bit at the start. Did you see what I've cut out? Listen. Little bit of noise. Now it's, it's going to start here. Pecking order. Now, we don't need all that stuff at the end either. So let's just say by Frank Fahey. And that's it. So trim. So that's the first video done. Uh, the first audio done, I'm sorry. Now we do the same thing here. Click on that. You don't want it to appear during the show. So go up here to hide during show. You put in automatically in that box. It starts automatically. And trim video again. Listen. Now, you don't need all this stuff here because we actually start here. So we move the blue. That's where we. Right. Now we're going to start here. In the coronary care recovery unit, there is a pecking order. Okay. We don't have to listen to the whole thing. Let's just go to the end of this page. Your tea. Would you like some sugar in your tea is the last sentence. So let's finish up with the word tea. Would you like sugar in your tea? stop and we get rid of all that little bit of static or noise that's there 
Just make sure we didn't delete the word T. Perfect, so trim. Now we go to this one. Same thing, click on the symbol, hide during show, uh, automatically, and trim video, or trim, trim audio, sorry. My peacock. Now, we don't need that little bit of hesitation or breadth. We can take that out, just much. Now, here we go. My peacock chest hooked with pompous pride. Now, let's go to the end. And we don't need that bit of noise there at the end. That's just recording noise and noise in the room. What it is a pecky noise? Stop there. So we move this up to the edge there. Just make sure we get the end of the word order. Perfect. Try. Okay, you think we might be finished now? We're not because when you start messing around, or sorry, when you start editing this audio. What happens to the animation? The animation, uh, let's go back to animation and animation pane. And you will find that the audio has gone down to be number two. So what would happen here if we didn't do anything about it is the writing for pecking order would come up first. The writing for Frank Fahey would come up second and then the video or the audio would start. So what we want the audio to start first. So we catch the audio, select it and push it up become number zero or zero one two so the audio will start first then one which is pecking order then two frank fahey we have to do the same oh now do you see what happened there by accident i moved the, the picture over to the left so what i do is i go up to edit undo undo move object and it goes back again when i was sliding the the mouse across there i just cut the picture and moved it out of position but there's an undo button, I'm not sure where it is on your PC, but uh, on mine it's up in the top left, undo, so it went back. Anyway, we were going on to the second slide. Um, we we're looking at our animation pane, and we'll find, if we go down here, that the audio had become number five. We don't want the audio to start last, we want it to start first. So we catch the audio, move it up a bit, there it is at four, move it up another bit. There it is at three, move it up another bit, right up to the top, and it becomes zero. So zero, one, one, two, and so on. So the audio will come on first. Now, and the same thing for this one. Um, audio is number six. We want it to be zero, or at least uh, to start the thing. Right now, where's audio gone? It went right up to the top where I wanted it. Zero, one, 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 two, and so on. So the audio will start. So make sure to remember to put the audio up uh, on top in the animation pane. OK, now the moment of truth. This is where we have to synchronize the animation and the reading with what appears on the text. Mm -hmm.